Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the line load reduction uh, factor in ETABS. But uh, first I'm going to show you the hand calculation of the line load reduction factor. So uh, in this video I'm going to use the uh, ASCE uh, standard. So uh, you can read the uh, ASCE 7 uh, 10 and this is the uh, section that uh, talk about the line load reduction uh, factor so you can use this uh, formula so uh, before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please put the thumb up as well okay so this is the uh, hand correlation of the line load reduction factor so first we need the KLL uh, which is the uh, line load element uh, factor it uh, depend on the uh, type of the column or member that uh, we going to uh, 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 use to reduce the line load and next we need the minimum value of the line load uh, reduction factor so if the uh, member support only one floor uh, this value will be 0 0.5 and for the uh, member supporting two or more floor this value will be uh, 0 0.4 so I use this condition like this and and here is the number of the floor so uh, next we need to compute the uh, tributary area and uh, we need only uh, compute one floor and in this formula I input n here which is uh, the number of floors so the uh, tributary area here will uh, multiply by the number of uh, uh, floor by itself and this is the uh, minimum LILO reduction factor so we use the maximum number of uh, these two and this is from the uh, formula in the uh, ASCE uh, you can check here I use the uh, uh, SI uh, unit okay and the last one here is the value that uh, I use in this uh, case so we have a uh, 10 floor so uh, the bottom uh, value here represent the first floor uh, column and second floor column third floor fourth floor and so on so uh, next I'm going to show you the ETABS uh, model so this is the uh, model that I'm going to use now uh, first we need to go to define and check the load uh, pattern and uh, we need to input the line load here and for this case we just only uh, we need to know the line load reduction factor only so we don't need to use the reducible line load here so uh, okay and next I'm going to uh, go to design and line load reduction factors and uh, you can check the tributary area here and this is the uh, code that I'm uh, I'm going to use and you can check the minimum factor here uh, which uh, is the same here and next we apply to a column only so we can check this and OK now I'm going to run the structural analysis okay so uh, the analysis is complete I'm going to close this one and uh, first I'm going to focus on the uh, middle column here so 
Uh, we go to view. And I will select only the uh, interior column. So this is it. And I will turn off the uh, grid. And uh, next, you can go to uh, uh, this button and go to display design info. And you need to choose design input light load. Uh, reduction factors and apply so this is the uh, lilo reduction factor for uh, this column now uh, i'm going to compare uh, the result here with the hand calculation so uh, for this type of column is the uh, interior columns so we use kl4 and this one uh, we keep the same because uh, it's varies uh, it's depend on the the uh, uh, number of the floor that the column support and next the tributary area is uh, uh, 8 time 8 and uh, we use this one and uh, we can look at the result here so uh, you can check here the top column uh, the lilo reduction factor of the top column here equal to 0 0.5 uh, uh, it's uh, almost the same here and uh, you can check other value as well and uh, next i'm going to show you uh, one more uh, example so i will select this uh, corner column here and apply and we can check the uh, hand calculation here but first we need to change the uh, tributary area So uh, you can uh, look the look at the value here. Uh, it's almost the same. So you can check uh, each of them. So you can use this uh, method to compute for the Lilo reduction factor. And if you want the program to uh, use this uh, Lilo reduction factor in the design, you need to uh, change the the load pattern here and run the social uh, design. But uh, I will not cover in this video, and uh, I just want to talk about the Lilo reduction factor here. So. Uh, this is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoy this and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.